A small airplane landed safely at Logan International Airport in Boston on Tuesday afternoon despite having just one of its landing wheels deployed. The Cape Air Cessna 402 had two passengers and one crew member. It had taken off from Logan and then returned, according to an official at Massport, which manages the airport, who said the plane had a landing gear issue. There were no injuries. Video showed the plane coming into the airport with only one wheel down and landing, with one of its wings resting on the ground. The plane was on its way to Bar Harbor, Maine, when the pilot was informed about an anomaly with the landing gear just after takeoff, according to Cape Air. Cape Air said the pilot of Cape Air Flight 1833 performed the appropriate checklist and landed the aircraft back at Boston Logan Airport. The plane landed at about 3.20 p.m. There was no information immediately available about the cause of the landing gear issue. Ryan Wesley Routh, the man accused of attempting to assassinate Donald Trump at a Florida golf course Sunday wrote a book last year urging Iran to kill him. His self-published book, Ukraine's Unwinnable War, described the former president as a buffoon for both the 2021 Capitol riots and backing out of the Iran nuclear deal. Routh once visited Ukraine and his online footprint showed that he tried to recruit fighters for for Kiev. He portrayed himself online as a man who built housing for homeless people who tried to recruit fighters for Ukraine to defend itself against Russia. And he was a Trump supporter before he kind of grew disenchanted with Trump and turned on him, even writing a book that where he urged Iran to assassinate Trump, Biesecker said. While living in North Carolina, Ralph had a handful of run-ins with the law, including in 2002, where during a traffic stop a police officer noticed that Routh had a firearm sitting next to him in the car. Routh then fled to a roofing company that he owned where he barricaded himself inside and had a three-hour standoff with police. According to charging documents, he had a fully automatic, what was described as a machine gun with him, and he was charged with possessing a weapon of mass destruction, Biesecker said. Law enforcement is still trying to pinpoint a motive for Routh's apparent assassination attempt on Trump. Authorities are still searching for what they consider a motive for Routh wanting to assassinate Trump. But what is clear from his online profile is that he had become disenchanted with a number of the former president's policy positions, Biesecker said. Ron Wesley Ruth uh, is a North Carolina native who moved to Hawaii in 2018. He portrayed himself online as a man who built housing for homeless people, who tried to recruit fighters for Ukraine to defend itself against Russia. Uh, and he was a Trump supporter before he did, kind of grew disenchanted with Trump and turned on him, even writing a book that where he urged Iran to assassinate Trump. 
Before moving to Hawaii, Ruth lived in Greensboro, North Carolina, where he had numerous run-ins with the law. In 2002, during a traffic stop, a police officer noticed that he had a firearm sitting next to him in the car, and Ruth then fled to a roofing company that he owned, where he barricaded himself inside and had a three-hour standoff with police. According to charging documents, he had a fully automatic, uh, what was described as a machine gun, with him and he was charged with uh, possessing a weapon of mass destruction. Uh, he was also arrested in 2010 and charged with felony possession of stolen goods after police said he used his roofing company's warehouse as a clearinghouse for stolen property that he bought from thieves and then intended to resell at a profit. With two felony convictions, it's not clear how Ruth was able to obtain the AK-style rifle that he had at the Trump golf course yesterday. In most states, those felony convictions would have barred him from either buying or possessing a firearm. Authorities are still searching for what they consider a motive for Ruth wanting to assassinate Trump. But what is clear from his online profile is that he had become disenchanted with a number of the former president's policy positions as well as uh, his continued uh, attempts to voice admiration for Russian President Vladimir Putin, uh, who invaded Ukraine.